Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we are going to solve lead code number 2099. Find subsequence of length k with the largest sum. It's an easy problem. And ask in companies like Amazon, Oracle, Accenture. Let's have a look on the problem statement. Here we are given an integer array nums and an integer k. And you want to find a subsequence of nums of length k such that the, it has the largest sum. This is the problem statement. They are saying that a nums integer array is given to us and k integer is given to us and you have to find a subsequence from this nums of size k. It means only two items I can pick in order. When we are going from left to right, just pick any two items such that the sum of those two items should be largest. In this case, we can directly see that, okay, if we are picking this three plus three, the sum is the largest. And what we have to return? any of such subsequence as an integer array okay return type should be something like this 3 comma 3 this array is something we have to return not the sum this is just definition of subsequence from an array if i delete some items let's say these two items are deleted the remaining part becomes a subsequence or in other terms when we are going from left to right and we are picking up some items let's say i pick this and I'm not picking this, picking this, not picking this. So all of those picked up items form a subsequence. Okay, so how do we how do we solve it? Before that, let's have a look on the constraints as well. Nums dot length will go till thousand, and the value of k will go till nums dot length. So they can uh, they can also say that okay, you, we might have to pick all the items. So here, see this k is going till nums dot land. This is a very special constraint. You will see. Uh, you will analyze it later. So for now, we have to go through this array and pick two items, two best items, two items which have the largest value, largest value. And after that, we have to return my answer in this form, the same order, the same uh, order based on the indices. It means I cannot direct, I cannot blindly pick the greatest greater element, k greater element. So if they have asked, if they would have asked the sum only, some of these uh, first k uh, greater elements. In that case, we would have even taken a priority queue, or uh, or by sorting and picking the first k greater elements. But in this case, we also need to give the answer, written back to the caller. So for that, we also need to make track, keep track of the indices. What are the initial indices? 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, if I try to sort this array, if I'm sorting it, and let's try to sort it in uh, descending order. First, uh, first item should be 2 and 3. This 2 index. The second item will be 3 index with 3 items. Third item should be this uh, 0 and 2. Fourth item should be 1 and 1. So this is going to be my array. If I am sorting these items on the basis of their magnitude, but we also need to keep track of their indices. So these are the values in the array, which, we, which I have sorted, sorted in decreasing order. And from this decreasing order, we have to pick k items. Just pick these k items. I picked these k items and now I have to make them sorted on the basis of their indices. So pick these k items and sort them again on the basis of their indices. Firstly I have sorted them on the basis of in, in their values, then sort according to their indices. So how do we how do we store in this form? Initially we are given this array 2 1 double 3. This is a 1D array. And this 1D array just converted to 2D array. Not like this, I will just make it like this. 2 with index 0, 1 have index 1, 3 have index 3, not 2. 3 is having index 2, and this 3 is having an index 3. So this is the array given to us, and I this is something I have converted it to into. And now what I have to do is arrays 
dot sort whatever we have to sort what I'm trying to do here custom sorting so custom sorting is something uh, based on our choices we have to sort this array and in this case uh, if some of you are aware of, aware of the lambdas so we just have to write a lambda function or uh, or any kind of function you have to just see like how you have to sort customly on the in in your preferred language so we have to sort two items a and b and we have to sort according to their first indices b0 minus a0 why b0 minus a0 let's say it means see this is a function if this function written positive it means then so sort it swap it if it is negative do not swap it let's say a is something like this 3 comma 2 and b is something like this 2 comma 1 b0 minus a0 b0 is 2 a0 is 3 it means do not sort it's already sorted and you can see sorted in decreasing order see 3 to 2 but it if it was a posit this is let's say this is a and this is b so b of 3 minus a of 0 b of 0 minus a of 0 3 minus 2 which is 1 1 means positive it means swap it swap these two items this will come here this will come here so this is how the sorting custom sorting works internally so you just have to sort them in the decreasing order on the basis of their first values if I do this I will get this array 3 comma 2 or I can also get 3 comma 3 3 comma 3 2 comma 0 1 comma 1 I got elements in the decreasing order now from this order if we have to maximize the sum maximize the sum the just first k pick first k elements picking up the first k elements is something like this 3 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 and now you have the first k items but these k items need not to be sorted on the basis of their index because it is a subsequence and subsequence means in the order of their indices so on the basis of their indices just sort them in the increasing order a comma b return a of 1 minus b of 1 sorted in the increasing order so apply the custom sorting here again initially I sorted the n size array what is the time complexity n log n and the second time I sorted k items only and for k items I can see the k length will go till number dot length so it k can go till n in the worst case so we are going to assume that it is a one it is n so it is n log n two times so overall time complexity is n log n time and what about the space complexity whatever sp space complexity is also order of n in this case why because I am also making from array to 2d array with indices now you try to think of any better approach if you can see or you can it it uh, if any approach can come to your mind I think like uh, in this case it will also be n log n uh, even if you are going ahead with the priority queue concept but there might be one thing like if the value of k is lesser than n let's say the value of k is 100 till 100 it means we have to form priority queue with all of these items and then picking up only 100 item and sorting 100 item on the basis of index so that might reduce your space a bit but for this example it is the it is the best we can do so this is the sorting approach that we applied and uh, this is the same approach that uh, that you will also see in the editorial uh, now let's have a look on the code here firstly I have converted that n size nums array to 2d array like uh, first item is going to store the value and second item is going to store the index because at the time of converting the finding the result we need items in the sorted order as a basis on the basis of their index so converted it to the 2d index and then 
I applied the custom sorting on the basis of their values and values are at index 0. So I applied the custom sorting and now these items, these 2D, uh, these pairs are sorted on the basis of their values. And if they are sorted on the basis of their values and also they are sorted in the de descending order. If they are sorted in descending order, just pick the top k elements. I have picked the top k elements and top k element are in this variable. Now you have to apply the custom sorting again on the basis of their index indices. Arrays dot sort top k comparing integer value array of one, or you can use something like this. So these are just just two ways uh, in Java. So on the basis of one item, one value is their index. So on the basis of their index, I have sorted in the increasing order, and after that just extract out those values those values are my answer let me turn over sample test cases class name should be solution uh, let me submit it directly it is getting submitted successfully i hope you have understood the approach and uh, this code i'm going to attach in the description below and the main idea behind this problem is that you are able to practice custom sorting. Thank you guys. Bye bye. In case you get any doubt or you get any different approach, let's have a discussion below. Thank you.